I've been having a lot of requests from uh, people to put up more magic stuff. So uh, from now on, I'll be putting up one magic trick or something for video that I'm going to do. Uh, I've been hired to do about 5 or 6 gigs. There's one that's coming up right on the 23rd of September at my favourite hotel, the Swiss Hotel. You won't really get to see how I perform magic because I can't film while I'm performing, right? But you guys get to see how the, how the staff treats me as a magician and uh, basically the experience of being a magician and an MC as well because I've been hired to do a few prom nights. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, uh, this is Nick here. So I'm going to take you to one of my favourite places to eat. There are four places in Singapore I love to eat. A1, Carl Jr. A1 is Indian rice, Carl Jr. Burgers and stuff. Uh, there's honey barbecue chicken noodles at Far East Plaza. And there's Soul Garden. I love Soul Garden. It's the best. Okay, so check it out. Ah, funky music. Steamboat buffet is when they have this thing over here. That's soup, okay? That thing is soup, right? And you're gonna put in all your vegetables and stuff. All the gross things that girls like to eat. Right? Ooh, look at that! Ooh. <laughs> it's so gross! <laughs> okay? And the sides over here, all this stuff, right? We're not supposed to touch that. It's super, super hot, right? And they have the best meat over here. They are, I think, 9, 10... Gross. Anyway, there are 9, 10 different types of uh, chicken and beef and stuff like that, right? And the best part is... Chopsticks. I love chopsticks, so this thing is just... It's, it's over already. Ooh! Yeah, um, Sichuan chicken, beef... Beef, chicken, or raw chicken... Mutton and stuff. And my favourite also is Sichuan chicken! Tom yum chicken. Char siu chicken, curry chicken, and then we got all the disgusting vegetables. So anyway, this is this is what you do. You take all the raw stuff, right, and then you cook it on the side. Okay, this is just the first round, you know. And I got this as well. We need to eat this stuff while we wait for stuff to cook, right? So Soul Garden's clever. So you can eat cooked food while we wait for raw food to get cooked. Clever. This over there is my sweet, ugly girlfriend. <laughs> Whee! Fried rice. When you're running out of soup, right? we got more soup over here. This is how we do it over here. This is how we do it in Singapore. So we get this. This is char siu chicken. Take it. Flop it down there. Make it flat. Take more, more of this stuff. That's right. Take your cooked chicken and drop it on uh, the people's rice. You eat, eat, eat. As you can see, my rice also has this red stuff. I told you, Singaporeans, we can't eat bland food, right? So. You see the difference between her dishes and mine? That's three different types of chicken with rice. This is rice, fried rice with eggs and with bitter egg and samosa inside. And this is vegetable soup. Yes, and there's a little bit of meat on the left. So that's <laughs> that's that's why she's so much healthier than me, yeah? Yeah, that thing over there, right, that's unwanted meat. So, how can there be such a thing as unwanted meat, right? What, what's unwanted meat? Unwanted meat, right, is basically meat with skin on top. So she removed the skin, right, and all the fat, and that's all that whole pile over there. She's not enjoying life, man. Oh, shit, look at that, that's so nice. This is something we have 
probably only in Singapore. These are called these things are called kueh, right? It's a Malay stuff, uh, Malay sweets and stuff like that. I feel very proud of myself because I came up. <laughs> I'll show you guys to my girlfriend. I came up with a brand new way to film people cooking at Seoul Garden. Look, it's a this shall be named next fancy camera angle. Did you see the expert expert videography there? So if you like to contact me for my videoing services, especially with this camera angle, eh, please call me at 999-1234. So I charge $1,000 an hour. So this is my girlfriend eating rabbit food. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. Ah. There's um, some stuff you can't do with chopsticks, right? Eh? It's not just in Singapore, it's in China as well. First of all, when you hold chopsticks, eh, you supposed to hold it like this. See? My girlfriend over there. My girlfriend over there, she's. She's a criminal, she's doing it the wrong way, even though she's Chinese, you see? That's how multicultural we are in Singapore, you know? I'm an Indian guy, I know how to hold chopsticks correctly. She, <laughs> she's Chinese and she doesn't know, you know? But anyway, right, you can't cross your chopsticks. It's just some tradition thing, I don't know. Um, generally, Singaporeans don't really care. But the older folks, you know, those like 50 and above, uh, grandparents and all that, if they see you do that, they get pretty mad. You know, but one thing I'm uh, positive: almost all Chinese Singaporeans know you can't do this with your chopsticks. You can't take your chopsticks and pierce your food like that. You know, it's not nice uh, because it it looks like joysticks. You know, which people use for praying. So one of their staff saw that my hot plate had a lot of black stuff on it so he's going to change it for us thank you very much sir so now i've got a brand new clean and nicely oiled hot plate Oh my lord, this is the mother of all chicken pieces! Ah, thanks, love. Thank you so much. Thanks, Melly. So, this is a regular piece of thin chicken. And this is the mother of all chicken. Yum! Look at how dangerous it was eh, to cook this piece of chicken right here. See the oil that like, flew out? All that. So this is the part of every single Seoul Garden trip, right? Where you tell yourself you've eaten way too much and you're really, 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 really full. But you still have food left. A lot of food left. <laughs> And you need to finish it because you feel guilty, you know, for taking so much food. So, I guess I'm not going to eat dinner tonight. <laughs> Thus ends our adventure at Seoul Garden. And this is the first of my four favorite places to eat. I'm shopping for stuff to cook for my girlfriend for anniversary happens every single year she doesn't know that she's helping me shop for her own food <laughs> someone please tell me what the hell hugging a rabbit has got to do with a watch and uh, what the fuck man seriously look at that why are you hugging a rabbit <laughs>